had their first day of school from Da Vinci Primary School Principal, Christy Nodine, and the Director of Public and Media Relations, Lana Broman. Welcome. Thank you, Hi. Bart. Happy first day of school. Thank yes. you. How was it? It was great. It was fabulous to see all the kids come back in. Absolutely wonderful. Great weather. A little bit of fog go this morning. But what a beautiful day. What a beautiful week. Absolutely. A great way to start our school year. How, how is uh, enrollment at Da Vinci? Enrollment is through the roof, better than I could have expected. Um, we were very happy to see so many kids, so many new faces. Um, of course, having our returning students, but um, absolutely we are, we are on par for a full year. Great. Da Vinci has two campuses, or is it Campi? <laughs> Campuses. <laughs> so tell us uh, how the grades are separated at the uh, campuses. Absolutely. So um, my campus is on Murphy Drive, right off of Lansing Avenue, and we house pre-K through fifth grade. Um, and then over on Springport Road, it was the old Baker College campus. They have six through twelfth in what used to be considered the 100 building, mm -hmm. which is now um, Da Vinci's high school middle school building. And with that location on the Baker College campus, that gives you even more room for future growth. Yes. We have future plans down the road, our five-year plan, maybe a 10-year plan, depending on where you look at that. But we have plans to move our primary over to our that campus as well. Mm -hmm. And then down the road, eventually expand and build a gym that both of our buildings can use as well. That'd be great. That would be amazing, yes. Coming soon, stay tuned. <laughs> yes. Who is uh, Da Vinci for? How do you uh, describe it to people that are looking at uh, Da Vinci for, for their students? So Da Vinci is really the whole child aspect. You know, we, we look at everything that the child needs. We're able to offer small class sizes. Um, mm -hmm. My largest class is 22. K-1 is 20 tops and our preschool program is only 16. Uh, we're able to have we're very fortunate. We have teachers and then we have parapros in those classrooms. Um, we have sensory rooms that we can take the kids to that need a little extra break or a little time away. Um, and we just, we really encompass that whole family feel so that if families need something from us, if we can't give it to you right away, we can absolutely find somebody that can. So we've got great community support and resources in that way as well. So a kid that goes to the first day of school for the first time at Da Vinci, comes home and tells uh, mom or dad, wow, that's really different from my old school because what's going to be sticking out in their minds is to the, the differences that the, the kids notice. So again, it's the small class sizes. Um, some of our classrooms at the primary school have these wow factors. So for instance, in our second grade classroom, we actually have a ship and the kids can go below or up and they might find a little reading nook up there. Um, and they've, they've toured the sensory room, so they've been able to go see that. Maybe they got on the treadmill for a little bit or the exercise bike. Um, they've been able to go and hang out in our quiet sensory area with the fish tank. And of course, all of our great support staff is there. So they've already had a turn on the playground and gone through the normal school things, but then they've also got to see all of our extra special supports in there as well. Yeah, I remember when you, uh, we did the primary school, you added uh, themes to a lot of the rooms. There's fish, fish on the walls. Yeah, and tree houses. I, you're right, an actual sh ship is, is in one of the classrooms. Right. Uh, Lana, you brought um, some photos. I did. Yeah, so are, are we gonna see some first day of school pictures? I have not gotten those yet, okay. no. But we're, we're gonna see some things that we did at the very end of the school year and some stuff that we did over the summer. That's Christy there in the back on the tug of rope. <laughs> <laughs> the kids were really strong. <laughs> yes. Did your, we, team, did your team win the tug of war? I think it was 50-50. I played with all the classes and some of the classes, yeah, it was, it was pretty good, it was tough. Again, this is just our field day that some, mm -hmm. the, uh, the primary kiddos love their pictures being taken. So they, I, they get, we were just talking about this today, they get a little bit distracted when I have a camera in front of them. So you can tell he's obviously not on his task of carrying his water balloon. Right, <laughs> minutes later, the balloon fell. Yep. <laughs> These kiddos were just so cute with the three-legged rays, especially our younger kiddos. They. Uh, they were falling all over the place and struggling just to keep up in the bags. <laughs> now, is this on Murphy Drive? Where you yeah, this is at our primary, yep. Yeah. 
we just recently had a back to school party at Nixon. So um, people, we actually bought out the whole session, Da Vinci did, and we allowed everybody that was coming this day to come in for free. But we also made it for our own students that they could come and kind of do something for the last day of summer before they had to come back. So this is a picture of that. And then right there in the center is one of our music teachers. She was, um, that's in her baby, brand new baby, that's Baby Scout. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your baby to school, Dad. Yep. This is another one of our new teachers. That's um, Mr. James. Um, by the way, majority of our teachers all go by their first names. That's kind of goes back to what Christy was saying, that we try to make it a little bit more personable. And all not, right. yep. So this is Mr. James and his daughter. Mm -hmm. There's Baby Scout made an appearance again. <laughs> so you can, yeah, a lot of our kids were just able yeah. just to relax for the day. Fun times. Still pool weather, but. Yes. This is a trophy that our robotics team won. Um, they, we have a re relatively new robotics program, and it's for our middle schools. And I believe that they won the coaches and judges award for this tournament that they entered. Shane, uh, Shane Menard is our coach for robotics. He's probably going to kill me that I didn't explain this right enough. <laughs> nope, I think you did a great job. First robotics. The Da Vinci team showing up. I saw them yep. at Spring Arbor University. This is a couple of our high school boys. Um, we did have a small rec team for basketball this year, so we are trying to slowly introduce a few sports programs to our school. And this was just a photo. You probably saw this one around town. It was on a billboard, so. And with the gym, hopefully in your future, you'd be able to uh, Absolutely. join um, in, into more um, MHSA competition. Yep, absolutely. Is there, are you, do you have any, uh, any teams right now, MHSA teams? We had our first year of golf this year, and I believe we competed against other MHSAA teams that are in the area, but I, I think we competed as a JV program, so I wouldn't consider us completely in that whole frame of scope of MHSAA yet. We aren't part of a league or anything like that yet. All right, so what was the first day of school like? What, what did you do to make it uh, special and unintimidating, especially for the new ones? Well, of course, we, you know, we have staff waiting at the front door to welcome them in because they really are the, the showstoppers right there, the kids coming in. Um, we welcomed them in. Everybody had breakfast. Parents came in. They were welcomed into the school, um, helped get kiddos to their classrooms, lots of staff and hands on. And then we do our road show, which is a lot of fun. So we bring half of the school at a time together in our gym and we bring extra staff members in that they may or may not know and introduce ourselves and just kind of go over Da Vinci and, and how we can help them and, and who we are so that they are familiar with us in the hallway. Cause there's a lot of staff in the building um, and they, you know, the kids just love it. I go classroom to classroom and introduce myself and kind of sit with them and chat with them. And um, it's so nice to see our kids that have been there return and interact with our new kids because they come right in and they, they don't leave anybody out. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big things about Da Vinci is that nobody is left out. Everybody finds a friend, everybody has a place to be, so. You draw from a, a pretty wide geography too. Yeah, we do. And that's different than a, a geographic district. Right, we don't really, we don't have boundaries. So kids come from all over. We have students um, as far away as Hanover. Um, I have students that have come in from Grass Lake, Napoleon, of course our Jackson, area so we have we have a broad range of kids that come do you have a, a path are, are students typically moving from the elementary to the middle high school yes our fifth grade class i i want to say right now we are at about 95 percent went into our middle school mm -hmm. so that was really well that was a great great transition for them and of course they spend some time over there at the end of the school year to get to know them and we bring over some people from the high school so that they have familiar some familiar faces mm -hmm. what about um as you know students look for careers and graduation what kinds of things do you have uh, do you have ap or uh, any um, 13 year courses for um, college at Da Vinci? So we do have kids that are involved with the Career Center mm -hmm. um, and JC a little bit, so they can do some of those things as well. And those, um, like any other uh, public school, Da Vinci's free. Correct, it's absolutely. It's a public charter school. Mm -hmm. yep. How long have you been there? Um, this is my third year as principal mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And how about you, Lana, how long have you I'm been? I'm going into my second year there. 
Nice. Yep. So you're responsible for the ads that we see on JTV and the billboards that we see around I town. am, and I'm in charge of all of our social media and um, all of that public relations and all those kind of things that happen for us too. If someone's interested at this point, you know, school's underway, but can you still join? Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. You just go to our website and fill out an application. Yep. Great. Well, thanks for being with us on the first day of school. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Hope you have a great, uh, great, safe, happy, healthy school year. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. From the primary school, Da Vinci Primary School principal, Christy Nodine and Director of Public and Media Relations for Da Vinci, Lana Broman. More to come on.